Tears of the Silenced is a harrowing and deeply personal memoir by Misty Griffin that recounts her experiences with severe childhood abuse, her life within an Amish community, and her journey to escape and ultimately find her voice. The memoir serves as both a revealing expose of the abuse that can lurk beneath the surface of seemingly serene communities and a tale of resilience and survival against overwhelming odds. Misty's ordeal begins well before her involvement with the Amish. She grows up in a dysfunctional family with a mentally ill mother and an absent father. Misty and her sister are subjected to various forms of neglect and emotional abuse. Her mother's mental condition worsens over time, resulting in increasingly erratic behavior, until one day she attempts to murder Misty's sister. Following this traumatic event, Misty's mother manages to regain custody of the girls, and the already chaotic and harmful family environment deteriorates further. Seeking a way out, Misty's mother decides that they should join an Amish community, believing that the simple, pious lifestyle would bring them peace and stability. At 17, Misty and her sister are immersed in a strict Amish community in Minnesota, where they are to be adopted and must learn to live according to the Amish way of life, which is a stark contrast to their previous existence. Misty grapples with the, the demanding physical labor, the stringent religious practices, and the unfamiliar social customs. While the community is at first a refuge from their unsettling past, the silence and isolation of the Amish lifestyle create an environment where abuse can easily be hidden. Misty is expected to conform to the community's expectations and becomes an Amish schoolteacher. However, it isn't long before the dark side of this seemingly peaceful society surfaces. Misty becomes a victim of sexual abuse by a member of the community. When she attempts to report the abuse, she's met with dismissal and skepticism by the Amish church authorities. Her pleas are silenced. The community is more interested in protecting its reputation and the abuser's status than in helping her. This response by the community is a devastating betrayal to Misty, who had hoped to find solace and protection among the Amish. Instead, she learns the painful lesson that abuse can occur anywhere, even in places where religious and moral rectitude are highly touted. The lack of support and the victim blaming she endures lead her to question the faith she had adopted and the community that she once believed would be her salvation. Misty faces immense pressure to retract her allegations, forgive her abuser, and move forward as if nothing happened. However, she realizes that she cannot acquiesce to the demands made by the church leaders. Her spirit, though battered by years of mistreatment, refuses to be broken. Despite the immense mental and emotional toll, Misty finds the courage to leave the Amish community. She makes this decision with little to no support, knowing that leaving would result in her being shunned, cutting off virtually all ties she had formed within the community. The process of leaving is fraught with challenges, as she lacks a formal education, financial resources, and an understanding of the outside world. After leaving the community, Misty's fight for survival continues as she struggles to adapt to a society teeming with technology, norms, and customs she had been taught to reject. She also confronts the stigma of being a former Amish, which comes with its own set of prejudices and misconceptions. Armed with little more than her resilience and a determination to protect others from suffering as she did, Misty embarks on a quest to heal from her past and advocate for those without a voice. She encounters numerous obstacles, including post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and the complexities of legal battles as she seeks justice against her abuser and the community that failed her. Over time, Misty learns to navigate the outside world, pursuing higher education and speaking out about her experiences. She makes it her mission to raise awareness about sexual abuse and the often unseen struggles that occur behind the closed doors of insular communities like the one she left. She aims to encourage other survivors to come forward and foster change that will protect future generations from enduring similar pain. Tears of the Silenced is more than just a recounting of Misty Griffin's own journey. It's an indictment of how communities can prioritize their image over the well-being of individuals, a critique of the insidious nature of abuse, and a call to action to support survivors. Throughout her narrative, Misty shed light on the systemic failures that allow perpetrators to remain unpunished 
and victims to be marginalized. Despite the darkness of her past, Misty's memoir concludes on a note of hope and redemption. By bravely sharing her story, she offers solace and solidarity to other survivors, proving that even from the depths of silence and oppression, one can emerge with a powerful voice capable of compelling change and inspiring others. Ultimately, Tears of the Silenced is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the capacity to overcome even the most harrowing of circumstances. Misty Griffin's memoir serves as a poignant reminder that while the road to healing is long and fraught with difficulty, it can lead to empowerment and the opportunity to help others along the path to recovery. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.